the people of Lebanon are fighting to preserve and protect their heritage. For two brothers, the weapon of choice is a paintbrush and the beat of the street. This clip is from a 2014 Lebanese music video. It's a commentary on Lebanese politics and pop culture. The track, called Always Positive, was written and performed by Omar Kabani and his identical twin brother, Mohammed, who started rapping and making graffiti 18 years ago. Since then, they built an entire brand around their music and designs, turning the duo from street artists to entrepreneurs. I caught up with Omar at one of their most prominent works, at one of Beirut's busiest intersections. So what is all this? That's Arabic calligraphy. Calligraphy, for short. What is this say? It means, uh, what about tomorrow? So what's the answer? For me, uh, you need to live every day to the fullest. Omar's outlook on life stems from his early years. While I was in high school in Florida, he and his brother were hiding in bomb shelters while West Beirut was being shelled. We lived a big part of our childhood in shelter, and a big part of our influence in street art was the Lebanese war. We used to go to my school, like walking me and my twin brother, and we used to see uh, logos of fighting militias. They used to stencil the logo and- Like a gang. Exactly. Fast forward 30 years later, people consider us as rock star in a way because we're hiding all trace of war. If you see this mural, it's plenty of uh, bullet holes and like traits from the war, I'll show you. This is bullet holes? Exactly. All of this. Painting over the wounds of war is at the root of the brothers' design company. It's called Ashikman, a play on the French word for tailpipe. Just as a tailpipe removes dirt from a car's engine, Ashikman tries to remove the dirt from a war-torn society. You ever held a gun? Uh, not really. You didn't have to fight or nothing? No, I, I think my spray can is a weapon of mass expression, not mass destruction. So for me, a spray can is much stronger than any gun. Over the years, the duo have expanded their appeal to Lebanon's younger generation by adding their own clothing line. And the potential for reaching Lebanese worldwide is enormous. Argentina has as many as three quarters of a million people of Lebanese ancestry. Brazil, almost a million, and 1.3 million in the U.S., including me. <laughs> Through their music, their art, and their clothing, Omar and Mohammed hope to make Ashikman a world-recognized brand and paint the Middle East in a positive light. Whenever you hear it on the Western news about the Middle East, all you hear is like extremism, uh, uh, Islamism, terrorism, everything negative. And for us, we want to convey the message that in this area, there's plenty of people who want to live, who want to make a positive impact to their community, and this is what we're doing.